DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. We just got in our Takancha P3 electric trailer brake controller for one to four axles. So we just purchased this because we're getting ready to go on a long road trip. And we're just looking to get a little bit more braking power and versatility with our brakes on the trailer. We had also purchased, this came in another box as well, we purchased this other wiring adapter that goes to our particular truck. We have our adapter already. Here are the instructions for this. Electronic brake control. We looked at a bunch of reviews on this and all of them were really great and it also allows for lots of different configuration, different users to use it. Um, up to five different trailers it said you can program this up to. And so each different trailer can have different modes concerning uh, languages, boost power, brake sensitivity, all sorts of stuff. So if you do have multiple trailers, then this will still work for you. You just adjust it at that point. We ordered this from eTrailer.com, this wiring harness. It does uh, allow you to choose your specific vehicle and have the appropriate wiring and harness adapter for it. This was only about 15 bucks, and it's going to keep you from having to splice it yourself and do the hard wiring. Um, the actual brake control unit was, I believe, somewhere around $150, maybe a little bit more. They do have a couple different models, and you can. Uh, it was available in multiple areas, but again, we just found that site. We've used them before, and so we were needing a little bit faster delivery, so we chose them on this one. Okay, so we're just getting our panel, um, we just got our actual panel lit off and that's going to have the diagram for where to plug it into. So, because we don't have the actual just circuit that's exposed here, so we just came right under and that's where we're going to be able to figure out how where to plug in our portion. So again, it says on here, like the trailer right here, and that's where we're going to plug in our adapter at. So we're going to take this, plug it into that second slot, as it had mentioned. So we'll leave that there so we can test it out. We can then hook this in back. And you can see we're getting our power now. And right now being that the truck is off and we're, and we're not hooked up to a trailer, whenever we press a button other than the menu button, it's going to tell us that no trailer is connected and give us that warning. If you have any issues with trying to connect yours, uh, figuring out where your harness actually needs to hook up to, you can call their line. It's going to give a number for you in the instructions, so you can just call them. And their customer service, as remarked in many of the comments and reviews for this product, is really amazing and, and right on point. So we have that hooked in. We're going to move the truck into place and hook it into the trailer. And then I'll show you another video on the screen and how we can set it up at that point. All right, so we just got our wiring harness hooked up. It's, it's back there, and then we just hooked it to the back here. And so we're going to start going through the menu items here. It's showing a trailer there, so we're just going to hit the menu. And we can hit display. And we can adjust that brightness, color, contrast, go through all those. If we go back, go back in the menu, we can go over to the brake type. We're just doing electric. And we'll confirm. And then there's also a help menu right here. So we'll go into that. Language, troubleshooting, contact us. All that info is there. So if you hit contact us, it has the website right there. So it'll go from zero and up to 14. We're going to hit OK. And then if you hit the boost right there, set boost level two, and then you can go back through this. And again, 14 is the max. 
boost three and if you're actually looking it is changing the if you're looking it is changing the picture of the trailer that's located up there too and then you would just be able to again set the power that's going to be giving to those electronic brakes that's back there and then set boost off now and so boost one so that's about the correct trailer we're going to put the max output and we're just going to select that we're going to go ahead and find a place to mount um, this on the dash and then we'll take it out and start going over how to program it okay so we're getting ready to set the braking configuration for the trailer we just have our mount set up right here just to try to get it out of the way of my knees and it's probably the rest of the controls anyway so it's going to be easy to reach we're just in a parking lot right now and so what it's recommending we do is just get up to about 25 miles per hour and then we're going to hit the manual override right here so if you're actually looking at it there is a little lever on the bottom as it, and as you apply it it actually shows that it's applying the brake force so um, what you're supposed to do beforehand is we're going to apply our set power and they want you to start off at six and so what we're going to do is we're going to get up to 25 miles per hour on a level surface as you can see here and we're going to hit that manual override and what we're listening for is we're trying to see if, it, if the trailer brakes are locking up if the trailer brakes lock up then we're going to adjust our power down under six and if uh, it's really spongy and it's still taking a while for it to break then we're going to adjust that power up past that six mark so here's our first run we're going to get up to about 25 and we'll hit that lever okay and that was not powerful enough uh, definitely need some more so we're going to go up to 6.2 just bring it up a little bit and see where that takes us. We'll flip around here. Alright, and then do the same thing again. Get up to about 20, 25 miles an hour. And that's still not enough. So we just increased that increment by two. I'm going to go up to 6.5 at this point. If this one doesn't work, then I'll probably run it up to seven. And I'm actually just going to move it to 11.8 because it felt like there at the end it uh, did lock up. I'm not sure if you heard it on this audio. I imagine we should get our results here on this one. So I'm not sure if you actually heard it on the video there, but we did get our brake lock. So we're going to take that back down to just under 11.5 because 11.5 did give us that brake lock. So I'm going to put it about 11.3 and that's where we're going to be sitting at with our brakes. So as you can see a little bit closer here, if you're looking at the screen, then I just use that manual brake and it's going to set that all the way up to our level. So 11.3 with the manual brake. Um, before we had set it this high just here at a regular stop with my foot on the brake because it's right now showing the volts that's being used to apply the brakes on the trailer right now so as my foot on the brake at a stop before we had this adjusted up to the 11.3 mark this uh, current voltage was only sitting at about 1 1.2 or so so uh, just the regular um, whenever you apply the brakes see so if I let off the brakes and it's completely gone and then gradually apply pressure then it'll adjust it as needed so another thing that it does feature on some of their videos and whatnot is that uh, this brake control module does adjust it to how you're braking so if you're going down the road and you're in an emergency situation you really jam on those brakes I'm not sure if we're going to be able to demonstrate that fully here at a stop but so 3.0 right here if I just creep forward a little bit and hit the brakes softly it goes up to 6.3 was the top that I could see it go to so if you're going up just a little bit faster and then try and jam on the brakes 
I saw that got all it, it got all the way up to 11.1. .1. So it does adjust the braking on the module according to how fast you brake, um, and it'll give you a little bit more voltage, more power to your electronic brakes on your trailer there. Um, so that's just the demo on this. We're going to go on a very long road trip, about 4,000 miles. We're going to be testing all the reviews that we had seen on it before, though, were absolutely great, and individuals love the system. So if you have any questions, just please let me know. Again, remember that the instructions on this does have a number, and on the actual portion, if you click the help, then it does have the website you can go to. So that's going to help you with any setup or anything. Um, and yeah, so if you have any questions, just let us know. Please be sure to like, share, and comment, and that'll help us out. Thanks. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself.